Hey guys, it's Luch, and I want to talk about a documentary about a band from Dayton, Ohio called Brainiac. If you don't know who they were, that's probably okay. They really only made two full-length records, but the impact they had, especially within Ohio, but within the scene of the 90s was huge. Now, it's always weird when people try to describe someone's band as saying, I, they were weird and they were different. You know, but you know what? Brainiac was weird and they were different. And they were led by a really talented guy. His name was Tim Taylor. And he was a bit of the visionary in the whole band. He, he steered as far away from commercial sounding music as possible. He really didn't have a desire to have his music played on the radio. And the fans that come out that uh, speak so highly of the band, a lot of them from Ohio, in fact, Matt Berenger of The National, Steve Albini, Melissa Oftimer, uh, David Yao from Jesus Lizard, all can't say enough amazing things about where this band could have gone had the tragedy not struck. The tragedy was that just before they were able to sign a major label, and this was at the time in the 90s when, okay, Nirvana had exploded, and every major label was throwing mad cash at what they hoped to be the next Nirvana. So they were going to get signed. They sort of agreed and made peace with that. And Tim, the singer, drove an old Mercedes and it had a really poor exhaust system and carbon monoxide was pumping into his car. So he actually died of a car accident, but it was caused by carbon monoxide poisoning. It's very sad, but there's really poignant interviews with his mother and his sister and of course the rest of his bandmates as well. Um, another interesting thing is that this movie, which was directed by Eric Mahoney, they got funding, they had started a Kickstarter and they got uh, a lot of funding from Trent Reznor and actor Mark Hamill. If you were from Ohio, you took a lot of pride in this band because they truly were different and people feel they would have done amazing things if they had not been cut short. So one of the best lost bands of the 90s, it's Brainiac Transmissions after zero. And that is going to have a screening at the Sound Unseen Film Festival at the Trilon Cinema. That's Thursday, November 14th at 9.15. Brainiac Transmissions After Zero.